Now this is epic. Epic style. Can we get an L for the jab? Can we get an L for L? L. <laughs> Clap strength. Wait. Wait. No. No. Stop. Stop, guys. <laughs> On go. Three. Two. Stop. This is for the editor. You're making it harder. <laughs> On go. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Whatever. That works. Vaccinate your fucking kid. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Hello, everybody. Today we're doing a QA. <laughs> Featuring myself, Salty, Derek, Gerber. Hello. And Pasty. There's a camera there, you Oh, sorry. Know. I was looking at I was looking at the mic. Yeah, hello. We told you guys that you could ask any question that you wanted to the group of us, as long as it wasn't like stupid. 75% of them were stupid. <laughs> we're answering the 25% that are actual questions that we could answer feasibly. So, uh, so, sorry for the person on Discord that asked what was the first thing we nutted to. We will not be answering that. If your question doesn't get answered, sorry. fuck off. <laughs> Somebody pick up the dog and, and show the dog. Oh yeah, we have, uh, we have Salty, dog. Salty's doggo. Uh, Special guest Q&A member. Hello, hello Charlie. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Kill me! I, I have a very specific question that I wanted to start with. It was a question for Pasty. Okay. Oh god. This question is from FTL1313. It asks, Pasty, if you had to be a Minecraft block, <laughs> what Minecraft block would you be? Ooh. And I'm gonna tack on to this. What Minecraft block would you be and why? Oh, you're really, uh, really going for the nuance with this question here. I would have to say probably my favorite block in Minecraft um, I use it all the time when I'm building. It's probably just pure spruce wood. There's something about the the color and how it manages to contrast with a lot of the other blocks, especially stone blocks. And when they redid a lot of the textures for like uh, regular stone and that type of thing in the newest update, I, I do find myself um, using that more and more. The planks that it produces are great. Um, and it, it just builds a lot into, I guess, the design aesthetic I, I use. I, I played a lot of Millionaire mod for a long time, and a lot of the Japanese buildings in that game, in that mod in particular, utilize spruce wood as the uh, base pieces for their building. So I think that uh, it managed to, playing that in my formative years, allowed me to uh, find an appreciation for that. I bet you were not expecting an actual, genuine answer to this. This whole diatribe was fascinating because I thought you were speaking a different language for the entirety of that. I mentioned like four Minecraft blocks. How <laughs> dumb are you? <laughs> Listen, he can barely read. I mean, neither of you play. This one doesn't even have Minecraft. This moron never plays it with me. No, I ask him to. Evil. Well, Evil I've, bastard. You like never ask me to. You That's true. Like That's once true. In the past That's year. true. What that the is true. I never about? ask him to play mine. I don't want him to. <laughs> Ah uh, yes, the one rule of improv that Derek ruined, say no to every joke that your friends try to set up. <laughs> Here's a question from Haley on Twitter. How did you all meet each other? Mm. Uh. <laughs> well, that's a really good question. Me and Gerber don't fucking remember. <laughs> so we met in high school and yeah. we just, so freshman year we weren't, like I knew of him, but we weren't friends. Yeah, and he then, knew like, of my, my lore, my legend around the school. how bad he was. Everyone said yeah. he hated him. Everyone hated him. <laughs> Everybody said how fat this kid was and I was like, I can't believe it. But then I saw him and I was like, holy <laughs> shit, this boy thick. Damn, he thick. And then the summer of like freshman year, we were just friends. <laughs> yeah, we, we just somehow became friends. We don't know how it happened. It was just a freak accident, really. He won't let me out. <laughs> we're not compatible people whatsoever. <laughs> They just, we just can't, you just won't leave me alone, so. Yeah. I know, I know I met both of you guys through doing stuff at high school. I was, yeah. I'm a year older than them in high school, at least. So I met them. Big boy. You're, oh, you're yeah. Old, you're a year older than us in Big general. Boy. Well, barely. I'm like four months yeah, older you are. than you. Whatever. Yeah, I think, I think doing drama, right? Because I met you doing stage crew. Yeah. I met you doing the actual play. So that's where I met them. And I have no regrets or qualms about that whatsoever. Are you sure? You're staring at the camera a really long time. I mean, why would you have any regrets about me uh, using you in, like, all of my YouTube videos? Essentially abusing your funny. <laughs> you use me <laughs> abusing for your land funny. development. Gerber, you ask a question. On Discord, user Zach likes to ramble. He wants to know, what is our favorite Pokemon? 
Mario. That's an Animal Crossing character, you fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, Gerber, what's your favorite Pokemon? It's Lucario. You like Lucario's feet, don't you? That's the whole no, reason why. No, I yeah. don't like Lucario's feet, Pasty. I know you like feet. I don't, don't need to keep projecting. I don't. I'm not Pasty, projecting. You project this I'm all not, the time. I'm not projecting. Well, you're the one that brought up you're feet. You're both projecting the feet thing, and it's really oh, wait, uncomfortable. You're into feet. I'm not into feet. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, my favorite Pokemon is Haunage, so... Uh, yeah, he's even your Tumblr icon, he, is it not? Uh, well, it used to be, yeah, it's still part of my Tumblr. Um, well, at least at least the German name Grammacles is what I use for a lot of stuff, and my Twitter ad as well is one of the move sets in German from, from Haunage, so, yeah. What about you, Derek? Where's, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is probably Torchic. I okay. like Torchic. It's good. He's cute as hell. Plus, he evolves into Fire Chicken, so... I mean, he's always Fire Chicken. He's Fire Chicken as a baby, but, like... Yeah, he, He's always fire- he's in a constant state of fire chicken, so that's pretty cool. From my man Vinny Carwash, my brother, Jesus, um, he asks, uh, how much do each of you enjoy doing YouTube, and if there's any advice for those who want to grow their channels? Don't do YouTube. Vimeo's where it's at. <laughs> Vimeo's where it's at. When you become a Vimeo tuber, you actually get like a- Severance package. A severance package. Do you actually? No. no. Oh, well, <laughs> fine. <laughs> Pasty, you get, you're supposed you to be pick, the smart one out of the three of us. What are you talking hey, about? Hey, hey, hey. All right, Vinny, Fine. Vinny, <laughs> Vinny, this is specific advice just for you. Don't do it. Do YouTube sell out to the first corporation that offers you money. Don't even read the, exactly. the contract. Listen, when Amino emails you, you say <laughs> yes. You don't say no, you say yes. When Crunchyroll and Verve come at you... <laughs> When Just Crunchyroll do and Burb come knocking at the door, <laughs> you open with open arms. And you're like, yes, Mr. Anime, and you hug them. You accept them with open arms. I gotta say that uh, YouTube is good if there's something that you're passionate about doing, and you don't necessarily have to make content in order to garner a following. Just make what you enjoy. And just stay true to uh, the things that you believe in. Don't force yourself to make content just for views if it's something that you don't enjoy doing. So. Also, Minecraft song parodies are in right now, so... <laughs> I think that's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> this is by Woodland Buckle. They ask, what is it like to have a friend that is a decently known YouTuber? And this is to both of you. It really doesn't affect us that much. I mean, so the weird thing is like, I always thought that at least the videos with our faces in it, that somebody might just in passing either at the mall or, you know, like at college or something would recognize one of us. And that's never happened. And Actually, I have had that happen to me. Have you really? really? Yes. Wait, so, wait, I, I've never heard of this. Oh, I told, no, I told you this. Enlighten so, me. So it wasn't in person. So I was talking to one of my friends in our video. It was the one where, well, the one where you guys came to my school and I was talking to my friend you had an Elder Scrolls yeah. dialogue in there. Yeah. So I got a text from him like a month and a half ago, right after I got back from Japan. I haven't seen him. He graduated. So he was just like, oh, I didn't know you had a friend that was a famous, that was a successful YouTuber. And I was like, wait, what? Yeah. That's and then fun. he was like, oh yeah, I was featured in that video. And I was like, oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. So then he added me to a group chat where one of the guys is a big fan of your content. That's so weird. <laughs> and, I, and I was just like, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the videos. That is, that <laughs> yeah. Is bizarre. Like, I, I think I know the guy too. So like, huh. when I'm back at school next semester, <laughs> he'll be like, if he ever sees me, I'll be like, yeah, start up a yeah. salty DK Dan fan club at yeah. college. Hell yeah. I can't be part of it though. I'm part of the channel. <laughs> yeah, you can. Hello. I would say when it comes to being recognized, I'm in the same boat as you guys. But when I went to MomoCon, that kind of changed. Like I didn't realize like how many people actually watched my content mm. until I went to MomoCon and a bunch of people kept like recognizing me just by my voice, which was really, really weird. That's that's yes. interesting. They they were like. It, it's funny because I was just like hanging out with all the cartoon community people and people would just come up to me and be like, I don't recognize you and your voice sounds familiar. Are you the Salty DK Dan? And I was like, yes. Talk, we have talked a lot more about going to conventions in the next couple months. We'll probably get a lot, decent more recognizable when, especially that'd like- be, That'd be fun. If like all of us are with you and since they know our faces. <laughs> I, I would say I never expected something like that to ever happen, like anybody mm. to recognize me. But when it did happen, it was really weird and surreal. And I acted a little bit awkward on the first day. So if anybody saw me on the first day of Momocon, I'm so sorry. I was not in that good of a headspace. I was very awkward. I was literally like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> By day two, he was like, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs>
Hey. Um, but hey. If if you ever recognize any of us, please say hi. Yeah, like, it, it'd be. But it, just don't be weird about it. Just don't be creepy because I I have met some creepy people. Um, just don't be weird. Just I mean, be chill. I mean, like the whole the whole thing is that like it's especially especially it's not like we're we're like famous for acting in a movie or like being like an astronaut or like a big politician or some shit. Like, we're mean YouTubers. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. And, <laughs> We're not that interesting, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, like, it's always nice to have somebody say, like, hey, and be like, hey, I, I like your content. <laughs> yeah, of course. And then that's it. I don't want it to be like, hey, I, I want you to come over to my house. Yeah, no, I don't <laughs> want stuff like that. Don't do that. <laughs> the, it's the same rules apply, whether you have 20,000 subscribers or however many you have. If somebody's a fan of you, don't be weirdo don't You'd be do like it. bloop on discord asks can we have a mike and melissa reanimated i want to do it really bad i mean so do it, I. Star it started a, just in that video at least i was i was joking i actually think it'd be a fun and good idea much like a lot of other reanimated things but at least in this there's such little source content that i think it allows for a lot of creativity from from people there's a lot of artists that i'm mutuals with on twitter that said that they would be interested yeah yeah if exactly something like this would happen so i really want to do it at some point soon i feel like the mike and melissa one would be a really fun one to do yeah, I know. But especially because it's like already kind of done. You just have to segment it and then open up a an Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> to figure out what moment you want. <laughs> what moments you want. Pacey and I are going to animate the sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a DM. Hey, I have an idea for one of those videos where you and your buds watch cursed movies and stuff. Clutch Powers. It's a movie about apparently Clutch Powers and his battle, <laughs> the evil wizard Malak and Meline. Why are you going all into your is, like chills? What? All I know is that I watched this once and I don't remember <laughs> any of it. It came out in 2010 and it's full of awe. Have fun. Thank you, Aiden48. We'll that, never get to that. Yeah, we'll never get to that. <laughs> never gonna get to that. We should have written down questions. <laughs> yeah, we should have. We should have thought about... Uh... Do you want me to ask my next one you guys still look? Yes. Okay, so uh, Gilek on Discord asks, what are your favorite albums from the 2010s? I feel like this one really goes for you and me, Pasty, because Jake is not a big music man. Favorite I don't listen albums. to music. I just, I just go on YouTube and listen to White Noise compilations for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> or Sunflower. <laughs> or Sunflower by Post Malone. Because and Swiley. Don't forget Swiley. Yeah, but don't he forget He carries that. that song, but... Be you know, because I'm white. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry, sir. Because I, as Dr. Eggman would say, I'm basic. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so what are, what are yours, Gerber? Uh Oh, that's actually, that is a hard one. Yeah. I picked that one because it's an interesting one. Uh, Probably Room 25 by No Name is oh, honestly one of the best albums that I've done a long time. Oh my God. I'd probably have to say, for me, Impossible Kid, uh, ASAP Rock is probably one of my top albums. So I have uh, Random Access Memories by Daft Punk. Daft Punk is one of my favorite music acts and I'm dying to see them in concert. Hey Daft Punk, it's been 12 years. Mm -hmm. Can we get another tour? <laughs> And also, uh, Kid Z Ghost, the Kanye West Kid Cudi album I have last to, summer. I, yeah, I have to get that another list. That one's That's pretty good. I, like, that summer of Kanye music, when he was going a little nuts, was amazing, and I want it. I want more. Ayo, Kanye. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the uh, You're the Ox EP. Yox EP, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Money Store by Death Grips also. <laughs> <laughs> is that the song where the music video is him in the car? No, that's sad? Guillotine. That's from, I think, either it's a single or it's from Ex Military. Okay. But I know, can you put the image of him in the car on screen now? Well, it's going to be on screen the entire video. Okay. On the bottom left. <laughs> <laughs> can it just get slightly bigger as the time goes on? Yeah, no, so that, by the end totally, of the video, it's, just, it's the it entire just thing. It encompasses the, entire, the yeah. entire thing. Yeah, no, that's totally fine. Uh, well, actually, I don't have the exact person that said it, but I've seen it a lot. How do we all get our nicknames? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I have seen that a lot. Do you wanna do you wanna start with yours since it's your channel? Oh, yeah, uh, I've said it before, but I can reiterate it. Salty DK Dan came from when I first got an Xbox 360. I had to come up with a username, and it was the first username ever that I had ever made for anything, and it just stuck with me all these years. Dan, which was an OC name. Uh, salty was because I liked salty foods. It was before when the term salty meant like angry. Which ironically, you are salty in video games. Which is funny because. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just kind of worked yeah. out. Gerber. Uh, so my nickname of Gerber is just my last name. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah there's no more nuance to that. I'll, I'll break the immersion, guys. My first name is Andrew. <gasps> <laughs>
Neither of these guys have ever really called me it. I was going to say that your parents just never gave you a your, first name. <laughs> they just your par- your they parents just call me by my last name. It. Yeah, no, my my own family calls Gerber by his last name. I mean, it's the same thing. They call me my nickname, too. Like, Yeah, I was going to say, does, doesn't your, your family like call you Gerber sometimes or no? No. Never? If they said Gerber, four of us are going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> True. <Yeah. laughs> you, I go to Gerber's house and they say, hey, Gerber, and the entire Gerber family just turns to me. It's like when you're in the nether and you punch you punch a pig man and then all the other pig man's like at you. All the 2010 Minecraft kids are really gonna like that joke. <laughs> but you're gonna be like, yes! Finally somebody to relate to our generation. Uh oh yeah, my my nickname is literally just I'm pale as shit. So they're like, oh you look like like you're pasty skin. That's that's it. There was no more nuance to that one. Either. Yeah, the, like one of our friends in high school, before he even met Pasty, gave Pasty that nickname. Yeah, my actual name, much like much more information than I think a lot of these questions can be answered, is in my Twitter bio with my yeah. like actual name and other shit like that. Qu- quick question, Gerber. Why are you eating the cookies? I thought that you were allergic. No, no. They have such a small concentration of milk. I'm fine. He's, he's going to die. Sure? He's going to yeah. die. Because I'm not responsible minutes. for if you die on my fucking couch. Stop! Halt! <laughs> Halt! You violated the law. Pay the fine or serve your sins. <laughs> you gotta walk through a bunch of chairs. By the nine! I have uh, one question that's specifically for you. His name is too long, so I don't know what their ad is or whatever. The question is, have you ever feared of not having enough time to finish a project? And what do you do to shake that fear? Okay, that's like every week for <laughs> uploads. Yeah. Because legit, I stay up till like 6 a.m. the night before he does every do Saturday upload that I do. As we record this video, I'm on a weekly schedule where I upload every week at least once. I constantly have a fear that I'm not going to make my deadlines. And if anything, that fear is what pushes me to work on stuff because I want to make content and I want to put it out there. If anything, I have severe PTSD over video editing. (laughs) And literally, I will just be up at 6 a.m. with like a hot cup of tea filled with like caffeine and a bunch of gross shit trying to get my work done. So So, yeah. So what do you do to break through that? Do you just do it? You just do it. You just, you use your fear as a catalyst and you (laughs) use the fear to fuel you to make shit. Because then it's also like, if you don't have deadlines that are, that's your fear. My constant fear is that I'll die without having put out anything important in my life or anything that might change somebody's life. You so, did Thanos Erwin. I did make Thanos Erwin. So I've affected everyone's lives in that respect. Making it worse. <laughs> yeah, making it worse. <laughs> making it worse. You, well, hold on, you also As do all have, things should be. You do have your famous quote, I'm not gay, Greg. I'm not gay, Greg. But that's not even my quote. We I know. write it from a fanfic. Yeah, that's but not you, even like my original. You're the iconic voice of it. Like everything, everything, <laughs> everything like well known on the internet that I have helped make like a thing have all just been combinations of previously established D- yes. things. Yeah, tri- yeah. Peter Griffin tripping. The oh, Splitter yeah, Sparkles meme. Oh yeah, that. Uh, fucking bring Pop ba- Team Epic. You're bringing back Damn Daniel? Yeah, mm-hmm. that bringing garbage. Bringing back Damn Daniel, which there was a question about that. <laughs> There's a couple. I lost it. Yeah, there was a bunch of questions about Damn Daniel. Unbelievable. <laughs> I cannot believe you. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. But the thing that fuels me is fear, and the way I get over it is by doing things. Gotcha. So just sit down and do it because you're not going to be alive forever. And if you don't do it now, you will regret everything when you're an old crippled man. All right, let's Jesus move. fucking Christ. What's the other question? <laughs> Can't pronounce this guy's name on Discord. Asks, what's her favorite pizza toppings? Nothing, you eat that shit raw. <laughs> just uncooked dough and <laughs> gold eat, sauce and cheese. Eat with the uncooked s- dough. With the, the pasta the, sauce with the, a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> like, the frozen cheese strings. But no, yeah, uh, I, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say buffalo chicken. That shit's good. I'm a big bacon chicken ranch guy. Personally, it has to be it has to be New York style. I will not eat any other kind of pizza. Like DiGiorno's is pushing Hold it. On. If you like Chicago deep dish, go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. If I wanted to eat a bowl of fucking pasta sauce, I'll just eat macaroni. I'm sorry. It's awful. I, no. No. Leave. Then fucking ice. <laughs> so, Alf on Twitter asks, what projects are you guys proud of making? Wait, Alf? Yeah. Like the puppet? Unfortunately yeah, it's him. not. It's <laughs> him. I know your god won't get to you Damn yet. It. 
He just, Come on! Bring it, back oh. Alf! He just raises up behind the couch. <laughs> oh my god, it's Alf! <laughs> Story time. Uh, so we went to a comic book shop, uh, and we were just looking through, like, old comics. Fucking moron. Uh, it finds the only available Alf comic he can find, but it was issue one. It's issue one, and it's a collector's item! Shut up! So he's got a prime Alf, published by Marvel, so... And if anybody wants to, like, buy the comic from me, no. But, so uh, what was the original question? Uh, what projects are you guys proud of making? Well, I made a lot of stuff on my channel that I'm proud of making. Like, funny things. Thanos Irwin video uh, that I definitely don't regret at all. Um, <laughs> you know, here, what, what are you guys proud of? You know me, Cookie. <laughs> I'm missing Cookie. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually difficult. I, I personally really like the, the live action stuff that we do. Those are the most fun, I think. I don't know if, if you would agree or if Mikey would agree, but I feel like those are the most fun things that we do only because I, I think it allows us to actually capture just how we are in general. Like, there's not really a lot of hyperbole. In a lot of people think that we, like, play it up for the camera. We really don't. <laughs> no, there's a like, couple... Legit. There's a couple of points, like, in the one where Derek and I drive up to, to go visit Gerber. A lot of those conversations are more or less what we would have been talking about anyway. It's yeah. like, there's not... I guess a source of pride for me would be in the fact that... We capture that... Yeah, realism. yeah, we managed, we it's managed raw, to... It's raw, uncut. It, it's raw and uncut. And hopefully, uh, hopefully as you guys get to see more of those, uh, those videos in the future. There's, there's a couple that, that we had filmed since we did this. This Where's is... Where's going? Bye, uh. Daddy. <laughs> There's some of some of the my favorite thing that we filmed. I think are some of the ones that haven't come out yet. So like, yeah, like Comic Con. Comic Con was really Con, yeah, fun. Yeah, we we went to Comic Con last year and we did a vlog for it. We it did. Was supposed to come out a week later. It did. It, it did. See, so, yeah, I'm pretty proud of like the live action stuff. I think one of my favorite videos. It was a pain in the ass to film, but it was a lot of fun. Was a uh, super, uh, super Suicide Forest too. Yeah. That video makes me laugh like a goddamn moron. Well, I I don't know why I kept saying we were in Jacksonville. <laughs> I still to this day don't know. People actually but, think that we live in Jacksonville. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we live in Jacksonville. <laughs> Jacksonville, Florida. Really Everyone. Like seven Everyone. Feet of, like Not three me feet of snow though. I won't. Ground. I won't be there at all. So don't. Don't come. Don't put that on me. Don't, don't come. <laughs> don't. Don't come to Jacksonville, Florida. Don't tomorrow. do it. But it was like eight degrees outside. Yeah, <laughs> like, we were freezing. But that was one of my favorite ones to film. Wait, which is funny because you guys seemed so against it at the time. Because we were freezing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it was eight degrees. We well, filmed. You have to suffer for content. I mean, we we filmed that we filmed that like first week of January at like dusk, like it was. And, and what's funny is that it wasn't even topical at all. No, it came it out. It, it came out like, like what four months was, after. What, yeah, when after we the when we thing. when we filmed it, it was like two ball. or three days right after all of that stuff went on, and it came out like May. <laughs> and what made it even funnier is that. People thought that we had recorded it like a couple of days before it came out. So they were like, why is it snowing where you are? It's like May. Like, and if, if you guys thought it was snowing in Jacksonville, Florida in May, oh, let me tell you, I, <laughs> it's, it does not. For other things I'm proud of was that like, I'm proud of the Have You Heard's that I've been in. Like I really enjoyed the Mike and Melissa one. And Every one that you Gerber heard? has been in has been one of the more successful ones. I, it's it's a trend. I'm, I'm starting to notice a pattern. <laughs> like, I think that Gerber might be the key to me becoming in. a famous this YouTuber, so I'm trying to like not lose him. <laughs> so, uh, and then I guess I'm gonna plug my own shit here. I just made a short film, and I, I was very proud of that. So uh, you could throw that link up right here. Throw, the, throw that big ass link right here. <laughs> it's just an L. It's just Dr. Phil holding the L out. Nothing else. I, I don't even put the link in the description. I put the raw URL on the screen. It's not that would be funny. Type it in. Yeah, that was something I'm really proud of. I'd like to do that again. Derek and I have been talking about writing stuff together. Yeah. We like, have a lot of stuff that we should yeah, do. Yeah, like I know yeah. Paraweird is something we can't really go Shut into. Shut up! Can't do Shut up! I'm kind Idiot. of involved in that. Wrong! Idiot! <laughs> do me a favor, guys. Since the mic is on the counter, try not to put yeah. your phones down. So, Stop! Uh, uh, Anime Star asked, this is for you and me, how did we feel when we were asked to be a part of the channel? I don't know if it was really like being asked to be a part. I think we just did it. Like, I think I, it wasn't like an official thing where I was like, hey guys, do you want to be part of my budding YouTube channel? Yeah, no, it was well, not. I mean, I do you want to join my partnership? You and I like start, I was with you when you started. Yeah, you were with, Gerber was with me since the very beginning. Yeah, no, it wasn't like we were just co-opted on. Like he just yeah. found us in the street. He was <laughs> like, hey, hey, you want, you want like a couple bucks so you could be my YouTube? No, it's <laughs> Hey guys, 
something like that. Hey guys, you want to do some Let's Plays? I've been hang I've been doing this channel with you for how long have you had your channel? For fucking years. Yeah. For like five years. More than that, <laughs> because you started this in high school, so that's got to yeah. be like six years ago. Yeah, we've been doing I mean, this. I started my YouTube channel in 2014 or 2015, and I'm only just now starting to get a little bit of recognition for it. So don't fuck this up for me, please. <laughs> yeah. Give us recognition. It's all on us. <laughs> Give it's us all some clout. All on you guys. If I start, if my views start to fall, the pasty's just not funny anymore. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna be. I'm Kill gonna get cut. <laughs> I'm gonna Kettle get off, cut, off. yeah. What was the first video you were ever on on my channel, Pasty? We did a, pl a couple of Let's Plays, so we played like a couple Flash games that you had me oh, in and put yeah, on. Yeah, 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 there was yeah. another one in which you did your retro rewind series thing, oh, yeah, in which I, I voiced that. Yeah, I did the Moon Shoes episode. That one's still that. up. I, I think it's still up. Yeah, so we go scour the go scour scoured. the channel and listen to my prepubescent voice. And by prepubescent, I mean I was like 17. It's retro, it, it's retro rewind. Definitely not Did You Know Gaming. It's definitely Did You it, it, It's <laughs> did, Didn't You Not Know Gaming. Didn't You Not Know Moon Shoes? I never officially asked either of these guys on. They just kind of fell it. into this together. Yeah. At some point, there will probably be a day where they don't want to do this anymore. And I will very much respect. This is it. Yes. <laughs> today, I will, guys. I will respect your opinions. Guys, unfortunately, today, Payson has some sad news. This is our video. We're why taking we Derek out of the channel. <laughs> and we're taking out of my own channel. <laughs> yeah. We're being owned by Rooster Teeth starting now. Oh, hell yeah. So expect Let's make videos every fucking day. There is one question that I saw that I, I cannot, for the life of me, find it. But it was like, what are your favorite YouTubers that, that you watch? Like, for all of us. Really like that Logan Paul guy. <laughs> like... He's so just, he's so hot. Like, damn, like I'm not gay, but damn. Well, I mean, I think we can all agree Scott the Waz is pretty- Scott the Waz kills me, he's so funny. Uh, Pacey I, doesn't know Scott I the Waz, don't never watch mind. Scott the Waz. Hey all, Scott here. Hey all, Scott here. I mostly, most of my YouTube time that I spend watching, I mostly watch like The Majority Report with Sam Cedar and The Michael Brooks Show. They're like news shows and like political shows. Like that's, that's what I watch. Rainbow Six Siege is like the one video game that I play of a lot now. So I watch a lot of the like Macy J and Serenity who I've actually played with before. Serenity? Serenity 17. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah, yeah. I want to shout out a YouTube channel with bigger subscribers, but I think they should deserve more. Uh, girlfriend reviews on YouTube is oh very God, funny. Dude. I was literally watching what? Girlfriend so was I. Reviews earlier today. What is this? So it's girlfriend reviews? Sh I've never heard okay, of this. Okay, so, hold on. Let me shut up. Explore. Gerber's going to talk about so, girlfriend reviews. Hold up a minute. So she reviews video games, not as playing video games, but having her boyfriend play them. Oh my so what it's like to be a backseat gamer. So they start actually really good and funny it, and well written. She's basically, there's like five minutes of like quick comedy and She's like, yeah, she just means it. She doesn't care. Like, it, it absolutely it's so stupid sometimes that it makes me laugh. Well, what's great about it is that they make them together. Yeah. The boyfriend and the girlfriend make these reviews together. And it's it's awesome. It's cool. Yeah. It reminds me of, like, old Donkey. Like, before. Like, gotcha. Donkey's, yeah. Donkey's, I love Donkey, but he, okay. I haven't been watching as much recently. Yeah, I, I prefer older Donkey. Uh, he kind of changed, you know, after, after the snap, you know? <laughs> Storytime vlog, what it was like to be in the Soul Stone. <laughs> Not, Not clickbait, click gone, gone sexual in the hood. <laughs> hey guys, it's me James from The Odd Ones Out, and today I'm going to be talking about what was it like to get disintegrated by Thanos. It sucked. Then you, 50 years, people in the Marvel Universe would be like that with Thanos, you're like... You know? Oh no, Thanos yeah. is daddy. Dude, there's totally gonna be Thanos worshippers in the MCU. Yeah. Like the people that like there's people like that in real life already. They're I mean like, like he this was big purple thick man, <laughs> I want him to sit on me. <laughs> like Big Purple Boy was actually the good guy in those movies. So. Yeah, no, there's definitely Y'all hearing this be... shit? Are you guys hearing this <laughs> shit? No, there's definitely gonna be people in the MCU that are like that like not only agree with Thanos, but people that will fetishize him to no end. Because there's people like that with like people like Hitler. No, so just, yeah, that's my big question. So like I, I like I like this hypothetical <laughs> that there's people in the MCU that wanna fuck Thanos, like actually. Well, I've seen new Thanos, so I, we've all seen new Thanos. Yeah, I know I, we've I, seen new how Thanos. Many, how many countless times have I sent that image to you? No, how many times have he sent that? <laughs> Listen, we've all sent the naked Thanos image yeah, every No one as much as you. Enter, yeah, we enter, were... put the naked Thanos image up. We... This is from Tori on Twitter. Uh, they want to know what are her favorite colors, and they also have a question for me that I'll just answer real quick. They want to know, do I still fence? Yes, kind of. <laughs> Uh, I would say the problem with the your favorite colors question is that your color block, yeah, But I have a favorite color. I don't care. <laughs> oh my god. So my favorite color is obviously like, my old avatar used to use maroon. I, I like maroon a lot, but recently it's been more of a bluish shade that I like a lot. And that's what I've been using for my channel aesthetics is that it's always been like a light blue. Gerb, oh no. 
Pasty. What's your favorite? I'm color? gonna I'm gonna yield my time to Gerber so he can answer Ooh, the color idiots. question. Guys, it's orange. Can you what's what what's part of the spectrum can you actually see? Is it? Uh, I can see like orange. Oh okay. Yeah. I I'm like I'm red green and blue purple. I can't tell gotcha. the difference. If you can see orange, why do you need glasses? Idiot. That's a great correlation. It's genius. Sorry. President. You put them back on. Put them back on, please. Please. You can't just ruin the character model like that. Yeah, ruin the. I wear glasses all the time. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't even put glasses on your. No, model. you didn't. Pixie, take them off. You can't wear them anymore. You're ruining I can't, the I can't. I can't mostly see without my glasses on, but uh, yeah, I use them to cover my awful under eye bags that can't go away. So. Me too. Like, so Pasty, what's your favorite color? Uh, 92 blue. It's a color offering on the Volkswagen 2019 Golf R. I, I don't know what other part of this color spectrum else that would be called, but. Go look it up. It's really nice, actually. Especially if you get the 19-inch black wheel package, which I think was 325 last time I checked. The total car is like 45 k Get that. Stone Gal's Art Zone set on Twitter says, What is your favorite thing we've covered so far for Have You Heard? I would say the SpongeBob Beyond thing, because I, I think that's just such a weird like thing that yeah. literally nobody knew about. And I want to cover more topics like that. Because like the stuff that we've covered recently isn't like as niche as I've wanted it to be. So I want to cover more really really obscure and just niche stuff because i have a whole bunch of stuff like that that i want to get around to recording for it yeah i i'd have to say the same for me it was just it almost felt like you're doing some kind of like deep investigation into some it, exactly it, it, like, it was nobody knew what it was no we investigating yeah as like we recorded exactly like there was a lot of about it. yeah there was a lot of stuff that we were reaching especially when we were getting like to dead ends where like the twitter would link to their uh, their facebook page and their facebook page would be like very sparse and have like yeah. weird language there, there there was a lot and, of inconsistencies that just didn't really make much sense. Yeah. And what's actually funny about that video too is that we got that channel like a bunch of subscribers, which was really cool. Uh, yeah. And also just the fact that like everything, like for example, I, I brought up some critiques in that video where I was like talking about how their titles don't make any sense like chronologically. like. Episode one wouldn't be named episode one and stuff like that. They fixed all of that. Like, Did they after, really? I didn't yeah, know that. After that video came out, they like fixed everything that I criticized. That's pretty cool. And that's pretty awesome. And they're super chill about it too, which I appreciated a lot. Yeah, that and that's that's something that I do actually like about um, doing YouTube videos in that vein, especially as long as it's not done in malice to the yeah, way no. that you're acting to it. Like as long as you you're you know you have some appreciation for it. Like I I thought it was really interesting some of the art that they did uh, in that series. I thought it was pretty good honestly. Like I know it was it looked goofy and like um but, but, but the, the animation itself and like the backgrounds especially were like insane. Yeah, they were really good and really good, like TV quality background. Yeah, which was crazy. And the fact that by us doing our stupid twenty minute reaction video but managed we got to got them more exposure. Which exactly, was really nice. and that's that's something that I like that everybody wins from it. It's a, it's a win-win scenario for everyone yeah. like you know Derek gets views on his channel and more subscribers or whatever and they get more views and more exposure and more ability to to make more of them which I think they have done actually since we yeah, since yeah. we did that we yeah, yeah. we haven't I haven't seen any of them so yeah, I they they have been making more stuff and also uh, just to add on to what you said I also want to point out that a lot of my videos especially like like recently ever since I've started doing weekly uploads and stuff like that if I ever cover topics like this where I'm like talking about somebody else's content or making fun of it usually I like to try to put a little bit of a positive spin on it mm. because there's already so many people online that'll just mercilessly like yeah. fucking tear people to yep. shreds with like no common decency we may make fun of something but that doesn't mean that we think that it's necessarily bad there's just aspects of it that yeah. you can clown on it's it's like when we covered mike and melissa and when i covered hey andy sweetie we're like arguably they're just very goofy weird things. yeah of course but like when you really boil it down to it somebody like tried to put their heart and soul into and it and that's you just have to recognize that's what that's yeah what that's yeah the whole thing is especially that they're not the the original person i guess not in every case but they weren't trying to sell it as the greatest piece of material ever created they're just doing their own thing yeah so it's not really you know any 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 person can can leave their commentary on it like ours isn't any more valid than anyone else's yeah it's just it's just a matter of recognizing that uh, stuff that you're reacting to, the original people put effort into it, and that's all that matters, really. Yeah, so definitely. the moral of this is make your own shit and don't doesn't matter what other people say yeah, unless you make you're... your own shit and shut up. <laughs> no, I think my, my favorite one that we've covered for uh, have you heard is I love the Mike and Melissa. You're right, it's this weird. It doesn't work. Like I don't think it works at all. <laughs> but I think that's what but makes it work. Like is it, the fact it, that it's yeah, so, it sounds very counterintuitive. It's so not. 
good. Like, and you're saying, like, you guys did all this research for Spongebob. I still go back occasionally and, like, see if I could find stuff. Because I desperately am curious enough to just try to I, find the original person for Mike I, and Melissa. I've been trying to get in contact with Mike. I've I, legitimately been trying to get in contact. I hope that if we do this reanimated thing and it gets a little bit of publicity, I Yeah, no, it. I would love at least at least to be able to ask him, like, what was your mindset in doing this? And, and <laughs> why, what else why did you choose to do this thing if, if this way? If I ever get in contact with Mike, which I doubt that'll ever happen, but if it does happen... Then I really want to do a follow-up video type podcast with him, with all of us, so that we can ask him any questions that we want to ask. Well, because yeah. it's a very curious thing. Because like, there's so many things on the internet that are like not supposed to be things that go viral. They're not supposed to be things that of course a, a lot of see. a lot of viral stuff is is exactly like that. Yeah. Especially like stuff made for a class or stuff that like. Oh, yeah. Uh, a goofy kid made like like Sammy Classic Sonic fan I think is a perfect example yeah, of this. Like it's that like, was never that, content like that should never ex go viral. Yeah, exactly, but, when it, but does, it does. You have so many questions for the person that made it. Yeah, like like is this like something serious? Like did you actually like mean what you said? Yeah, yeah. 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 Here's a question from Binjo Monkey. Guys, help! I think I'm locked in someone's basement and all that's in here is tentacle manga. Please help me. He has cut and then it, it just stops there. Well. Been Joe Monkey. Um, sorry. <laughs> Maybe someday. At Master Tribal, so salty or Derek, I really don't know. Do you have any plans of extending your content, like making other types of videos? I would like to, but I don't have any ideas for it right now. Like, He's not original. I mean, like beyond, He's got a copy. beyond like upcoming video essays and stuff like that. I want to do video essays. I'm scripting out video essays, and I want to bring like abridged content back to the channel. But the thing is, like, I I can't monetize those, and I know it's not about the money, but I could use the money to pour back into the channel, so it just kind of sucks. I mean, the difficulty with YouTube is what other content is there to make. I know that sounds kind of dumb but like how much how much stuff is there available to real to really make on YouTube that no that's a good point a lot of my content especially I think I've said this before but like all the content that I make is me just taking things that I'm interested in and merging them together I really liked let's plays and streaming so I just combined them to just streaming video games and then making compilations mm -hmm. like I liked heavily edited down reaction videos and I liked hanging out with my friends so then Have You Heard About became a thing. So, like, it's literally just me combining aspects of, like, stuff that I like together to mm -hmm. make something that I would enjoy making. It just depends on what I'm into. Like, I'm sure in, like, a couple of years from now, I'll probably be making, like, totally different content or something like that. I don't know. It could happen. I could become a storytime YouTuber full-time. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Uh, this was about, like, how you heard it was conceived and why Why I only featured some episodes, but, like, so I don't think you might... I, I think I'm it. in all of them. Yeah, like, why do we not have, like, a set guest, set okay, role? Okay, so, Have You Heard About was originally supposed to be a, a series of video essays about weird shit that I found online and just researching into them. And then one day I was like, you know what? Let's try this in a reactionary type format with some of my friends. And it just worked as a format. And people liked it. And I was like, I like recording it. So that's what it became. Yeah. And to answer your second part of the question, why, like, I wasn't featured in a, in a few of them. I was just in Japan. So trying to schedule myself to... I mean, it's, to it's literally just like, scheduling. hey, we're going to do a thing. Yeah, we don't... Yeah. Whoever's around. Yeah, I know. Just... Like, sometimes people just aren't around, to, like, schedule-wise to, like, work. And there's some videos that I want to react to that I don't think Gerber would be best for, like, reaction-wise. I think he'd be... Like, I have a set amount of videos where I'm like, oh, I could could probably get some really juicy stuff from Gerber if I show him this bullshit. But like other things, I'm like, Gerber's not gonna give a shit about well, so this. Also, then, from what we we're recording, the next wave of like, ones that were like, we're supposed to be at, like the one that you just, was just uploaded, the one with Robo. Yeah. I was supposed to be in that, but yeah. uh, my ping was at like 700, so my recording ability was absolutely yeah. not a thing. Yeah. But now that you're around, we're gonna record some with you yeah. too. And it's just like, I wanna get more guests in the future. Oh, definitely. Because like, I, I, I think it's funny to just have people on. It's almost like this consistent thing around my channel where I won't put somebody's name in the title of the video if they're in it. And I think I think to some extent that works. It's, I mean, like, I think it's just funny to have yeah. people just show up. Like in the the vlog videos where Senor Palo is just there, 
And he's not like There's in no the context title of the description or the description no. at all. Uh, your boy Wales on Twitter asks, "What is a hobby or activity that you do that would surprise the audience?" I mean, I I technically I have a degree in mechanical engineering, so like outside of YouTube, this isn't like my full thing. Like my hobby is I do photography. That's about it. Like I technically my whole thing is that I'm trying to be an engineer, epic style. I guess a hobby of mine is I love to work on cars. My grow my dad is a mechanic, so I literally like work on cars yeah. all the time. <laughs> I do voice acting, but I think everybody already it's knows like, that's that. Not, that's not a surprise. I mean, like, I do professional work. Like, I, I go that's out on professional auditions. I don't get them. Since you work with the voice, you obviously need to know the English language. You know the definition of a surprise? Because that's the opposite. <laughs> Shut up. This tweet is from at Blue Booped. And they ask, are you excited for any upcoming cartoons? I'm really excited about the has Been Hotel and Long Gone Gulch. I don't know if you guys know about those ones, but they're upcoming animated pilots that are going to be posted on YouTube and they're both really cool. Long Gone Gulch and Has Been both have like really cool teams working on them and I got to meet the creator of Has Been while I was at uh, Momocon oh. and she mad cool. I don't care for Harley Quinn, but the Harley Quinn cartoon I'm only excited for because my boy Kite Man is getting featured in it. I Yo, love Kite Man is going to be in it? Yep. It's got all the Gotham rogues and Kite Man's included, so if he doesn't go Kite Man, hell yeah, at least once a season. I will be canceling my DC Universe subscription. <laughs> Kite Man, hell yeah! That, I'm pretty excited for the Young Justice. Uh, the rest of the season looks pretty interesting. Pacey, you obviously are very excited about Rick and Morty Season 4. <laughs> I so I've been I've been trying to mentally prepare myself. I do actually want to watch the next season of Rick and Morty. I have not seen the show since the Pickle Rick episode aired. <laughs> have you not actually? I honest to God have not. I I really like the show, but after the Pickle Rick episode, <laughs> and more accurately, how morons online reacted to the Pickle Rick episode, I was like. I no longer want to be associated with this in any capacity. It is funny because he is pickle. <laughs> it is so random. I am the funny pickle man. Wait, are you pickle salty? <laughs> No, but, honestly, the rest of the season's like pretty good. Like, I know the fans like ruined it, but I yeah, I lived in a bubble where I just didn't look online for uh, Rick and Morty stuff, so I was like enjoying the season like <laughs> not obnoxious. Yeah, so I I have to try and give it a second chance and sit back down and watch that. So I'd be interested to see where that goes. At the time of filming, uh, the second season of Gretzico hasn't come out yet. Oh yeah, I'm excited um, for that. so I'm I'm actually pretty excited to. to oh, the next season of BoJack too. So yeah, that for as well. Yeah, I, BoJack. honestly, I hope BoJack's ending soon. I want them to. I want this season yeah, out, no, and then I want I them know. to. Say, and then I want them to say, "Okay, next season's up." Here's a good question from at Sleepy Sarah Bear on Twitter, and they ask, "Pasty and Gerber, if I give you a million dollars each, would you beat up yes. your loving friend?" So I didn't even finish. <laughs> I heard a million dollars. I got student loans, motherfucker. I'm doing it. Would you beat up your loving friend Salty? Yes. yes. Or would you not take the money and beat him up anyway? Yes. I would take the money and beat you up. Why would I? I would let you guys beat me up if yeah. that were the case. I'd give you a cut. Like, I can't... how badly would I have to beat you up to get a million dollars? Well, we would like, each have, have a million to... dollars, what you... too. What if you both have to beat me within the... an inch of my life? I'll give you your hospital. I have a million dollars. <laughs> like, I have, like, scars for the rest of my what life. What if we beat you within half an inch of your life, so we split the difference, so it's a total of one total inch that you have left? of your life between us which means it's a win-win for everyone because that you get to be even that closer to death and we'll be millionaires yeah, no, like and we true. could pay for, I, would, I would drop a little bit for his hospital bills like this I'd is pay, a shitty question i pay my course, like, of course I'd question. let them beat me up I do have one serious question this is not asked by anyone this is kind of a question that I just want to throw out to you guys so we've been doing this a long time where do we want to go like with this like where's your dream of where do you want to so be like, a couple where years where did we come from no where do we go yeah. where did you come from Cotton Eye Joe I love STDs <laughs> your question is just like like where where do we want to go from here? Yeah, where do, where do you want to see our con? Where do you want to see like what we're doing? I want to get some hair weird stuff done. That's yeah. my goal right now. I want to get that shit done. One of the inspirations for a day in my life was like Sugar Pine Seven, and I'd love to. They kind of took that like vlog in an interesting direction before, unfortunately, getting yeah, canceled by Rooster Teeth. getting canceled. Please buy uh, us Rooster Teeth. Please buy us Rooster Teeth. <laughs> but yeah, no, our, the original vlogs were inspired by Sugar Pine Seven and Super Mega's vlogs, where they were just kind of like funny dudes hanging out and doing stuff like that, and I was like, oh shit, we could do that. And then we did. I would like to do some more interesting stuff with those vlogs in the future. I don't want to say plots because that's kind of dumb. Well, but like maybe incorporate like more like goals. The most fun vlogs that we've ever done or the, the most ones that I'm proud of are ones where we have a set goal. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the third vlog 
where we went out to buy a bunch of Skylanders for our friend Nicole. I would like to do more cool stuff with the day in my life, even yeah. though not a lot of people watch it on the channel. I still like making yeah. it. I want, yeah, I want to specifically do some scripted content. Like, yeah, I want to do some scripted content. Because, I mean, like, you and I both have been working on getting film degrees. <laughs> yeah, no, so, that, that's... And I know pasty... We're like, wasting our money on film degrees, you mean. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm working. I got my first short film out. Yeah. You, you Check it out. One. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically anything you would want to do in the future? This is something that I really do genuinely enjoy doing in all of the different levels of all this stuff, whether it be working on stuff with Power Weird or doing stuff like this. But I think, I'll, I'll, I feel like a lot more of my video making passion lies in producing more, not necessarily video essays, but more scripted content that revolves around, I don't know, political or more nuanced issues that like I don't necessarily, like making goofy jokes about, you know, what, reading Diary of a Wimpy Kid uh, comics is like, it's fun, but like, I, I feel like that there's stuff that I want to put more thought into almost like I, I guess I guess a way to think about it would be like H Bomber guy how he made like a 45 minute long video about like the Transformers movie from like 1988 yeah, yeah. something more along the lines yeah, of that one? yes he made like uh, a 45 minute long video I love that video that movie that movie's fantastic yeah so like there's a lot of stuff that I think along that vein of that I think would be interesting to pursue personally I yeah I don't know yeah I would love um, to see that from you I mean I'm still waiting on the Undertale review oh yeah. <laughs> See, I, I, okay, I waited too long to produce it, and after that point, it was like, there's no point working on this anymore. It's still a game that I like. I mean, again, much like Rick and Morty, a lot of it was ruined by how god awful the fucking fan base was. Yeah. Like, you know, like, it, it's funny to laugh about now, like that one image of, uh, the holding out the hand with the fucking Tootsie Rolls with the fucking here, uh, we've been so good, kid, please give it to us. <laughs> <laughs> like that, oh, that man, fucking that image. At the time, it was like, Jesus, I want to die. This is awful. But looking back, it's hilarious. Like, I still really like the game and stuff, but like in, in a lot of the same vein of, I had a, a several different things I want to work on like that. I just, I couldn't. So it, it, I think now, that I have more quote unquote free time on my hands, it's something that I would wanna pursue. Either that or just become like the YouTuber and Twitch streamer Destiny, where like I could play League of Legends and debate Sargon of Akkad and call him a fucking moron. And like, at living the life, gotta say, it's not, it's awful. But yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, it, there's a bunch of different things that I would like to do, but I, I have no set ideas like you guys. Well, thank you guys for submitting questions for the Q&A. Die. Uh, I'm really proud of my YouTube channel as a whole. Okay, bye. Bye.